Hi, Tom Finley here from ClamCentral.com. You want to know how to make a carnival booth fast and cheap? Well, let's get right into it. This single panel is the key. Make this from 8 foot lengths of 2x2. Two 2x2s two. Two two are much easier to deal with than the 2x4s, trust me. The board in the middle is at the 5 foot mark. That creates the two openings. The boards are put together with only one screw in each corner or intersection. This does make the panels very flimsy until the booth is fully put together. However, it makes the panels easy to take apart when you're finished with them. If you intend to reuse the panels, be sure to reinforce the corners. And when screwing two boards together, make sure you pre-drill the first board to avoid splitting the wood. Here's a vital note. The plastic you'll buy to cover this panel will likely be 10 feet wide. That means you want a 5 foot span from the left edge of the middle board to the outer edge of the frame. That way, you can make two panels from one 10 foot width of plastic. I use roofing nails with orange plastic collars. Use what works best for you. Here are four configurations of the one frame. The first creates a five foot doorway, good for moving a large number of kids in a hurry. Next to it is a three foot doorway. This helps keep kids in a single file. This makes a low wall good for the front of a carnival booth. And here's our five foot wall. Five foot wall works great for children and it solves the problem of wind loading that you get with an eight foot wall. What are we looking at here? Remember I said the plastic comes in 10 foot widths. Lay the frames on the ground edge to edge as shown. Unroll and unfold the plastic right down the middle of the frames. Nail the edges then cut each panel. Now here's a booth I made for a food fight. That's right, food fight. It's part of our annual canned food drive for the local food bank. I know it sounds politically incorrect, but we raise about 10 times as much food as we use. To learn all about how to pull this off successfully, see our clam bake how-to video on the food fight. This booth took 18 panels. Panels are put together with three screws in the joined edges. Again, be sure to pre-drill to avoid splitting the wood. Here you can see the bracing that I've put along the top and sides of the booth. Also notice the top of the panels. They are two different heights because they are not perfect squares. If you want to get fancy and have perfect squares, you'll need to cut some of the boards to length. The two lean-to uprights are there because I built this whole thing without help. I started with this corner and used the uprights to keep the panels straight since I did not have a helper. Remember, two by two panels are flimsy until all the bracing is in. Notice the bracing along the belt line and how the panels are spanned by the bracing. This is key to making a strong wall. Well, there you have it. Have fun with your kids, and please drop by clamcentral.com soon.